Hi folks, for a while now I have been developing a variety of DC cooking appliances in my solar workshop including small to mid-size low voltage 12 volt DC ovens for DIY off electrical grid job site and emergency uses. For the 12 volt ovens I will provide a DIY how to build guide on this channel as soon as possible. Please stay tuned for those uploads. My latest small oven designs are extremely efficient, requiring only about 85 to 150 watts depending on configuration, achieving temperatures over 350 degrees Fahrenheit. I am working on further improving their efficiency and may share the results in future video uploads. This oven in particular is designed to demonstrate PV to load solar electric cooking. It is a small, highly efficient oven which easily operates off of two 100 watt solar panels, even in less than optimal weather conditions. So what is the point of PV to load or direct DC solar electric appliances? Traditional off electrical grid setups run the PV DC power through a variety of expensive discrete components which have a limited life cycle and tend to fail after so many hours of operation. Typically these failed components are not repaired but simply replaced with a new one. I am referring to the solar charge controller, the battery bank, and the DC to AC inverter. Since these components tend to have a relatively high replacement cost and repairing them is usually not possible, in a grid down scenario one should not work them any harder than is necessary. In fact it makes no sense to put wear and tear on all these expensive components just to create heat from solar panels. This is why I have invested a lot of time and research into PVDC space heaters, solar electric cookers, solar electric ovens, direct solar charging, and so forth. Looking at it from a high-tech survival and grid-down preparedness viewpoint, complicated, expensive, and top-heavy technology creates a burden and a vulnerability. The ability to directly consume PV DC electrical power to heat a shelter, cook food, heat water, and directly charge small devices and power tool batteries makes a lot of sense. Having a small, portable, simple, and robust oven that can cook thousands of meals with no moving parts while using very little power and zero fuel is the ultimate survival capability. In addition, such a simple DIY oven can be repaired and serviced by the user. Such an oven will no doubt continue to serve the user for many years at virtually zero cost. I have never seen this kind of technology presented anywhere. The benefit of PV to load over solar thermal is the wires which can bring the oven indoors in the shade. I think technology like this should have existed on store shelves already several years ago. The electric PV to L oven has the advantage versus solar thermal of conventional appearance and operation, robust straightforward construction and the ability to operate from a solar powered battery system if needed. Of course most people would want to run off of a battery, but I wanted to show the PV to load aspect first. This is where the oven is preheating. In this test it hit over 350 degrees Fahrenheit pretty easily. If you look closely you can see the dial is starting to move up. Remember this oven is only using about 150 watts of power or less to achieve these temperatures. To me that is amazing. In related news, I am developing several 12 volt ovens in my workshop. They are portable, they reach over 350 degrees Fahrenheit, they have a handle on top, and are easily capable of baking bread, roasting meat and vegetables, and so forth. They are some of the most efficient DIY electric ovens in existence. This particular one uses less than 150 watts, but I have designs that use even less. This footage is one of the earliest tests I conducted some time ago where I actually cooked real food. I don't like wasting food so I only used a couple of jumbo shrimp to see if it would work. And as you can see it really did. In fact I overcooked the shrimp. But that's okay because I don't claim to be a cook. I actually think this footage turned out very well. It's some of the most detailed footage I ever shot, and I was using a camera phone to do it. 
A family member helped me prepare this food for the test. Once the oven heated up and started cooking, the food smelled really good. This oven gets incredibly hot on the outside, not safe to touch, but I don't think that's a problem because every single oven I've ever used got too hot to touch. So the oven was successful and it cooked the food. Now I didn't put a lot of food in there because I'm not a cook, I don't want to waste food, and frankly I overcooked it anyway. I just wanted to see how hot it could get and how the food reacted to the heat. I can't get over how simple and clean this setup is. No massive battery banks, no inverters, no high voltage, no Bluetooth, no apps or internet of things. Just pure solar electric cooking in the sun all day for free. I think this technology should have been on store shelves years ago. Okay, there's the end results of the first test. I may have overcooked them slightly, but I don't claim to be a cook. The fact is, they are cooking. It was well over 350 degrees Fahrenheit in that oven. Smells really good, also. Some of the things I like about these oven prototypes is, one, they use two small solar panels that are easy to carry around, safe low voltage DC. They have the PV to load option, or you can run them off a battery. And the max temperature is over 350 degrees, which is more than adequate for cooking food. They're very efficient, they don't use very much power, a shockingly small amount. To me, the cost is priceless. You can cook endless meals without burning any gas. If you're interested in my work, please stay tuned for more updates. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.